As an engineer for the city of Miramar, I have to think critical. I've been living in this great city of Miramar for almost 20 years. We're a very rich cultural city. We have a lot of diversity as far as race, ethnicity, and the number of businesses that come to the city keep growing. When I can ride my bike, I think about these things because a city is a living, breathing thing. I have seen the city rapidly grow, approximately from 50,000 residents to almost 150,000 residents over 20 years. But the rapid growth led to a housing problem. At the same time, our weather is changing and flooding is becoming a constant threat. To address the housing problem, we have to build more houses and take into account the potential impacts to the traffic congestion. We're in the historic Miramar area. This is an area where we, the city, want to revitalize. Take a look at this field. We have this land available to build housing. This field is just part of the whole site that could house up to 3,000 residents over the next 20 years. But the long-term solution isn't just building new homes and hope for the best. I want to create something that factors in long-term resiliency and economic development. It's a development that centers around public transit, where you can easily access public transit and not so much relying on a car, but 3,000 new homes could mean 3,000 more cars on the roads, which could make traffic congestion worse. It's a great responsibility because I don't want to get it wrong. That's why I make sure that I commission studies to be able to analyze the impacts to the residents. For example, we have to do uh, traffic studies to see how the traffic impacts will be. These roads are two-lane roads. We don't have the room for expanding the roads. But these studies take a long time to complete. And uh, by the time we do them, the, the data might be outdated. But at the moment, this is the best option that I have to work with. I'm the executive director of the Broward Metropolitan Planning Organization. If I don't do my job right, you could not only sit in traffic like you are today, tomorrow you'll be sitting in even more. And that is where we really need to be focusing on, is what that future is going to look like. Planning the development of cities is really database driven. Because if new development comes in, how does it impact the surrounding area? So whether it's flooding, traffic, schools, and that data set needs it to be accurate. I find the challenge is how do you get all the different data together and analyze it in a way that provides efficiency for people like Sal. One day I realized this data exists online and it's up to date. And that was when we developed Smart Metro. Smart Metro is an AI platform we're developing that can be used to take real-time data from multiple sources like Google to help planners like you be more efficient when it comes to planning. So Emma, let's start this up. So this is the Smart Metro platform, which incorporates different data the land use, the transportation, transportation of workers, the public transportation, water supply, and so forth. This is the initial model. And as that model gets developed, you're gonna start seeing all these other components rise into this. So that you're proposing 300 units in this location? Yes. Can we figure out how this would affect traffic circulation in the area? First, we'll be able to show existing traffic conditions. So pulling all the data together from your traffic studies right now, the volume of traffic is okay. And then as we add the additional 300 units, you're gonna be able to show what does that mean for traffic in real time.
but you're going to have additional public transportation, which is what you're trying to do here in Miramar. Access to transit, what will be the impact? You can show what happens in Miramar. Honestly, I'm impressed with the level of detail this can provide. It seems like a lot of information all in one place. Track analysis a lot quicker to see what the effects of my decisions will be in real time, as opposed to waiting years for studies to be completed. Yeah, oh yeah, it was a wonderful thing. If this platform is successful here in Miramar, we can expand it out beyond the borders of Miramar, bring it into the 31 cities here in Broward County, because we're all very similar in dealing with the concerns that we have. If Mar Metro works, this is gonna be better for our residents and for us to make better decisions in making the city and the county more sustainable and resilient. It could change the lives of people living here in 20 years.